Mike, could you list for me the things that you've been called too much of? Um, I've been called too loud, too strong, too bold, too opinionated and just too bossy. Yeah. Um, so when I first started primary school, so when I was four, mm -hmm. um, my parents were worried that I wasn't going to make any friends because I was too bossy. Um, <laughs> and I um, talked at people too much. Like I, um, I told people my opinion, maybe without listening to theirs too much. So I've always been quite loud and opinionated, basically. Um, and then in more recent years. Um, I've been told time and time again by people online whenever I try and delve into like politics and you know social issues and things like that um, that I'm too loud and too young um, and that I don't know what I'm talking about. So all that kind of stuff used to make me very upset um, and it would make me feel a bit isolated from other people but now it just makes me angry or irritated maybe um, and also a bit bored I find it quite monotonous <laughs> um, when people try and tell me that I'm too much so I just end up ignoring it these days that's great and did, was there a point when um it changed what you were what you what you were doing did you ever change because someone called you too much or did you always was it always more of a rebellion of like um, I used to be a lot quieter than I was now. I went through a period when I first started secondary school when I would be um, really quite quiet all the time. Um, and kind of, it was the same kind of time I started talking about things on the internet. Um, but then I went slightly quieter on that as well because again people were telling me I was a bit too loud, too opinionated. Um, but by the end of year nine I like didn't really care anymore um, and I started talking about things much more. So when people first started like, well when I noticed people criticising me it used to make me very upset because I kind of wonder how I could change I suppose to make myself a bit more acceptable um, but as I got older a bit more used to it, a bit more angry with it, um, I kind of well, I realised that it was nothing to do with me really and the people that were telling me all these things were doing it just because they couldn't really cope with me having a voice um, and it wasn't to do with me having too much of something, it was them having too little um, and not really being able to match me in certain qualities. I think some of it does have to do with my age, like people think I'm too young to be talking about things and they want me to quieten down, but I think it's got a lot more to do with the fact that I'm a girl um, because, I mean, ever since I was a child, people telling me that I need to quieten down and let other people talk and that kind of thing. Um, I've never seen boys experience that in my life. Um, and as I've gone into my teens, it's been more and more encouraged for the boys to be really loud and, um, you know, talk a lot. And it's, like, in real life and on the internet. Um, and people want me to fade into the back a bit more and let the boys talk I suppose and I, I'm not willing to do that. No absolutely not and um, how, how is how is it how is it received when you when you do talk up do you feel like you can s suss out like do well no maybe that's a, that's a terrible question whatever <laughs> actually in terms of uh, what does it made you realize about um, our system in general like these kind of comments and the way people act because you know it's usually people's default because they've you know they've learned from a system so what yeah. what um i think our system's completely structured to quieten girls and empower boys um and you know everyone's kind of brainwashed into that from a very early age um so it means that when you become older everyone kind of slots very nicely into those categories anyway so people don't aren't really seeing an issue in the same way and a lot of it's quite subtle these days um, but it's definitely there um, and I think it gives teenage boys a massive advantage because they just have 
confidence from a very early age that most girls kind of have to drag out of themselves almost and really come to terms with themselves before learning to be too much of anything, you know? So they have a massive head start over us. Yeah. And what did you have to do to, to find that confidence? Or did you feel like you always had it and you just carried on using it? Or um, I think I had it when I was younger. It definitely phased away for, for a while. Um, and I... I think it's because I used to care a lot about what, like, everyone thinks of me and as soon as I as soon as I didn't care what they thought of me I just I was just willing to be like very loud again um so I think it was the not caring about other people's opinions that helped me personally yeah everything I've been called too much of is what makes me special really it's what makes me stand out because otherwise I'd be like an old white man sat behind a computer <laughs> talking about the same things as everyone else and it makes it boring um so it really i think it makes me stand out from other people and i have the ability to talk about things that other people wouldn't be willing to um and it makes me feel better about myself just having strong qualities and really loving myself because of them um it just makes life a lot more pleasant, I suppose, yeah. when you like yourself. And how and how have these things helped you? And how have they helped other people, would you say? Um, they've helped me because they've given me the ability to get my voice out there in a way that's ended up becoming quite a large public platform. Um, so it means that now my opinions, whether I am too opinionated or not, get out there and lots of people hear them and lots of people listen to them mm -hmm. or at least you know think about them um and i think they help other people because i'm i'm trying i care about other people and i'm trying to create a lot of change at the moment like i've got a project to do with getting inner city kids specifically bame out into the countryside to do with like mental health and just appreciation for nature and things like that um and you know, I'm just trying to cause a lot of change, I suppose, to, to help benefit other people. Um, that's definitely my favourite, because I've been working on it since I was like 14 or 13 or something, so I'm really invested in it, and it's amazing, because I've seen it grow from something really tiny that I was just kind of talking about with like my friends and my parents, to this big thing where I've like done a conference, and I've gone to like 10 Downing Street, and I've like just got people really talking about it, and I've seen change happen because of my voice and I think it's really incredible to see happen. Definitely, absolutely. So in 2015 I started doing camp to try and get um, black and Asian minority ethnic kids from like inner city, Bristol specifically because I'm close there, out into the countryside because um, it just isn't happening for various reasons and I thought it was important that they should be able to appreciate things too because it was just when I, like what I enjoyed doing I suppose um, and then in 2016 I did the a conference called Race Equality in Nature talking about what all the barriers were for people to go out into nature and how they could solve them and I had lots of nature NGOs and um, race experts come to talk about it and from that I started an organisation called Black to Nature um, which is all about helping that and I've also caused quite a lot of policy change and things like that within these nature NGOs and I've done a lot of meetings with kind of the heads of these organisations um, wow. so I've just, yeah, I've tried to cause a lot of change. If someone um, who was younger than you came to you and was said, you know, I've been called too loud, I've been called, you know, too like everything that you've been called too much of basically, mm -hmm. what would you, what would your advice be to them? Um, I think I'd tell them, like I suppose all the obvious things that it doesn't matter, it's not their fault, they shouldn't take it as a sign to be quiet. But I'd also tell them that the only real way that you can solve it, that you can like learn to deal with people calling you things like that, is just learning to I guess just understanding that there are positive qualities about yourself and you shouldn't be quieter 
or like more demure or anything like that. You should carry on talking about things because it's what makes you powerful, what makes you interesting. If you could change the world tomorrow, what would you change and why? I guess I'd make like all society like inherently equal um, and kind of take away all the societal bias that we have because I think it would, I suppose, kind of with the systems that we run under, the, like the way that we run as a species, we can't have everyone flourishing all the time because like we don't function like that. But it would be amazing to see what would happen if everyone started from the same place and everyone had the same advantages and disadvantages. And I think, yeah, I think that would be really cool. <laughs> Personally, I've kind of recently been finding a lot of bias and kind of, I don't know, I've kind of tracked myself in a bit of an echo chamber recently, like, and it's quite a pleasant one because I like hearing all my own views reflected back at me, but I guess just that it's quite important to expand yourself a bit and also make sure you know how, like, the other side, as it were, or, like, how other people think and, like, look at yourself a bit and see if you're stuck in a bit of a loop just talking about the same things and if there's any way to move on I guess. What would you like what would you like to talk about? Um I don't know. not sure. It's because it's like to be discovered, right? Yeah, I just kind of wanna learn about more things and think about things from more perspectives instead of just carrying on the same all the time because I think it makes life a bit more interesting.